Plum Island is located about a mile and a half east of Orient Point to the North Fork of Long Island. And for over five decades, it's been home to the Plum Island Animal Disease Center, a bio-level 3 research facility known for developing vaccines for foot and mouth disease, which is highly contagious amongst livestock. But the island also has a lot of history. A well-preserved army fort and a lighthouse from the 1800s mark this 840-acre chunk of land, which, since 2003, has been under the jurisdiction of the Department of Homeland Security. But the lab, say federal officials, has run its course in New York. In a few months, the island itself will go for sale, and the facility will soon move to Manhattan, Kansas, where it will be upgraded to bio-level 4, meaning that scientists will be able to study viruses that are harmful to humans, as well as animals. Nobody seems to know who'd be in the market for this type of place, but before it goes, the Suffolk Times took a tour of the island, and a peek inside the Animal Disease Center with about 20 other people. Yes, we all drank the coffee. Purchasing uh, anything, t-shirt, ball cap. Um, Barbara, you, you going to get the cookbook? Oh, uh, absolutely. Plum Island? <laughs> that is bovine, bovine recipe. <laughs> Continue with my story. If you went in, in the door here, though, you'd have to change your clothes because our whole goal here for security is to not take anything back off the island. Think about it. It's that, you know, we have live FMV virus in this facility. It's the only place in the United States where it's at. One of the key things that have come up in several community meetings that we've had were uh, sensitivity to uh, uh, perimeter monitoring of the island. Uh, and Marie has been instrumental, actually, in uh, continuing that conversation. And two things have actually occurred since uh, probably eight or nine months ago when we started some of these conversations. One is the, uh, we put a security marine unit in place, so we, we got a, a phenomenal boat from the Coast Guard. Uh, so we have a, a marine unit now as part of our security force, and they can, they can do patrols. I would be very surprised if this facility ever closes. Why do you say that? Um, because they're really, it doesn't sound like there's a real plan to do this. There's a congressional act in place to, to do that. But, the, but none of the structure is there to create an effective sale. I mean, we're talking about, the key point that I thought was that they're planning on keeping this facility open as long until they complete the other facility in Manhattan, Kansas. And with that in mind, how do you sell a facility to, to support something you're going to build? I mean, what are you going to tell people that they can't live on the island until we finish Manhattan? Okay. Is there any more? There's more. That's it? Yeah. Okay, if you, if you want to get... The big guns are up at the point. Those are the great big guns. You see the guns. You get one guy with them. Their face, their arms, their song lights, and everything would vibrate. Wow. So there's. Who, who, who's going to. Is, is well, there I would say everybody could go out and take a look. It's yeah. Nice okay. Too. Be careful walking up there. If you. And what lighthouse and that's, is that's that? That's the there? ruins right there. Skull, that's Skull Island Skull. lighthouse. Oh, that's Skull Island. Okay. Yeah. Skull. Got it. You probably won't be able to see it, but they have rings, you know, because it was like a turret. Ah. Right. The guns would swing all the way around. Wow. Yeah. Do you think this should remain um, the facility it is, or? Well, it certainly provides 300 jobs for locals, some of them from Connecticut, but a lot of them from mm -hmm, New York. So it certainly would be nice to have it here. And I also, I'm not so sure that moving it is an improvement. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know they could build maybe a bigger facility or something more elegant, but I don't know that that's going to make it any better.
Do you think they should revive this uh, fort? Uh, not necessarily, but if they do, I'd like to rent it. <laughs> right. I just hope it's never cultivated and built on. Right. It, whatever happens, we don't need more housing. But, yes. Right. So where would you live then if you moved here? Just stunning. Well, like this right here. What right? is your impression of Plum Island before without visiting? Uh, Scary. A mystery. <laughs> hey, right? mystery. A mystery. A mystery. Yes, not, mystery. It's a good one. Mystery. Not knowing what the work they did here and what tremendous work protecting the entire population of this country. It, it's just a rewarding experience to know what they do <laughs> and how well they do. I, I mean, I would believe that they don't have the pilots great better be out in real planes. They're moving most of the reserves and they're forming like another. They got a thousand pilots.